Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 54, the final money season, well the final season, final season of 64 teams with prize money thanks to DLA Piper, a glorious trophy there. Um, we've got Sparky73 with a beautiful Chaos Dwarf team, well maybe beautiful is a bit strong but very nice Chaos Dwarf team, uh, versus a very beaten up Dwarf team here from RS Vordorka, three journeymen and a wizard. Um, and yeah, pretty nice team, isn't it? You know, I've got a claw bomber, claw mighty. This one needs guard. This one could have had mighty though and stand firm. This one's proved perfect with lodge, break tackle, tackle guard. This one's decent. Nice. So yeah, really, really nice team. Yeah, exactly what Ducky says, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and even then it's not that welcome, right? Um, Artemis is really uh, impressed by it. The, they actually made the playability worse. If you can believe that, they made the playability worse. It's even harder to double click. So now instead of having to click like 14 times to pick your players up or whatever, you've got to click about fucking 27. It's unbelievable. I actually can't believe it gets on that bad. Anyway, the dwarves, apart from their four journeymen, three now. Um, Oh yeah, it was the rowdy team, wasn't it? It was. Uh, they did well to get this far, really. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. Um, oh. Claw pump works. <laughs> oh, I wonder. I wonder what uh, what Sparky's thinking here. Oh, oh, what's this? <laughs> what could possibly be on his mind? Doesn't even doesn't even put in the ball. I would have put in the ball carrier. I would have literally I would have literally put in the ball centaur to, to pawn the ball carrier. But I guess uh, leaving him there to pawn the next turn is decent, isn't it? Sandwich him in. I would have fully committed the ball. Zero fucks given. My bull is going straight in there. It might open us up to a wizard next turn, but I am pumming the shit out of this room there. 100%. 100%. Hey, well, never mind the foul gets the chasm foul slayer. So that was the correct thing to do. Apple fails. And had to apple that really right with only 11 players. Have to apple the first thing that you can, even though it's a rubbish one to apple. Just to miss next. In comes the fireball. As expected. It really is do or die for our small daughter right now. I like that wizard. And he's got a potato on here, hasn't he? He can uh, he can blitz this one. And then uh, block this one or block this one and blitz this one, whichever way. Or just blitz him out, yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Funny, isn't it? This GFI is something that you wouldn't do in Blood Bowl 2, probably. Because you know you have to pal this guy, and these guys want to come in and do GFIs, right? Like, desperately, this guy wants to do the GFI to here. So, in Blood Bowl 2, you really don't want to do that GFI that he did. Uh, but in Blood Bowl 3, of course, you can just do the GFIs anyway. 
because it's not using your reroll for the turn. Now, you know, because you can use multiple reels in a turn. You could make both GFIs regardless, or at least the first one. And then you've still got a reroll for, for these guys coming in, making their GFIs round to shore it up. So, interesting difference between the new rules and the old. But, um, yeah, this looks like GG. Instant full GG. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't even re-roll it. That's how confident he is. Don't like this. I, I want. I want this ball behind, right? Uphill dodge away score. Easy, easy touchdown. I think this guy, he could have triple GFI to here the, the ball and then that's okay, right? If he wants to go back, he can go back. I just don't want him scoring all because he's such a big favourite. Hello, Sparky. There you go, a bit of criticism there for you. Tuning into the criticism. Much preferred GFIing with the ball to get round there to like stop this score being on, right? Because if he comes back with the ball, well, then you've got your whole team there. Just throwing him up, hilling and dodging and scoring him all. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, that's... Yeah, fair enough, Ducky, yeah. But I mean, that, that requires a bit of planning and stuff. But yes, I mean, uh, maybe he's could have blitzed with the bull, right? Because the bull could have maybe he's blitzed, and then that would have left the uh, ball available to um, react to him. Oh wow! Wow, that's that was definitely a good play there. That was uh... <laughs> Sparky was the hero uh, Wood Elf run Enzo that that we thought it was his destiny to win Chalice, but actually. He, his run was the destiny that Chunter needed to win Chalice as he, as he got to fight about three Wood Elves in the final. Where's <laughs> 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 Chalice in I didn't like the follow there because it's. Uh, oh no, he was here. Okay, no, follow. Disregard. It's pretty much over now, isn't it? Already. Ball carry gone. Three players done. Mr. Page hands are getting in calcium. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> that is quite the gauntlet of kill teams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I would have, I would have just personally not punched this guy and moved the claw bomber over to try and more removals. He hasn't got time to score his touchdown. So. Oh yeah, I just three done so yeah, maybe I just three done so and then he couldn't sack him because there was nobody else. <laughs> no, there was a distinct lack of rostered players, so I had to keep this dreadful dancer. <laughs> it was a legendary run. I mean, you know, Chunter's team got wrecked as well. To be fair, like it was, it was in a lot better state than Sparky's, but it got wrecked as well. 
This four players are amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that was a hell of a trouble. <laughs> Well, RS Vordorka did really well to get the money anyway in the last 16. Good for him. Um, I mean, this one is. See, it's over. And Sparky will be up against Andy Div in the next round. Very, very interesting. Would have been. Would have preferred a Nolly victory, I'm sure. <laughs> In terms of winning the match, anyway, could have been could have been Zons here instead of instead of a Dave or Dicing, <laughs> a painted Dave or Dicing. Hello. Flicky flack. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dwarves. Oh my god, seven dwarves for the second half. Jesus Christ. They're not even blocking on the LOS? What? Oh, did he think it was the start of the second half? He must have done. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The Dwarf Dak. I mean, he could have made three Kaz there. Well, could have done right. He had Mighty Blow. Pom, Pom. If you'd just taken his LOS, it could have been three or, three or four Kaz, but instead, he just didn't take any hits because he thought it was the second half, I'm guessing. Probably you know, somewhat mentally checked out. I can't really blame anybody playing a stupid little children's game for mentally checking out when it's been this one sided. Defensive dacker. Well, no, it's not defensive. It's an offensive dacker. He's dackering. <laughs> He's dackering. <laughs> Into a perfect defense. <laughs> He's dackering 1-0 down. <laughs> Classic. Yes, it, it is looking like he gave up. Yeah. Thanks for <laughs> Thanks for telling us, Sparky. <laughs> Could go for the 3 0 win, right? And two touchdowns on this guy to get him guard. I <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> like, no shit, he's given up. His, his setup was four players in a line. It wasn't even. It wasn't even trying to. It wasn't even trying to dack or just skipping turns. So, what you should have done here is. What you should have done here is. Uh, with the. the I'll, I'll, I'll be serious. If I could be serious for a minute. With your perfect defense, you should have put your your two SPP long beard uh, dwarf chorf blocker here, right? Should have put him here, and like some players here, and then the bull there, and then the bull could have ran round, three diced into there. Then this guy could have pushed him forward, and then you could have double geified, and you could have scored in two. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least in three, right, instead of four. You, you, the point is, they're only like movement four, aren't they? So either getting getting the chain on him, even if it's just to put him forward one, um, would like shave off a turn off the score. It's pretty strong, right? It's pretty strong shaving a turn off the score, e even if you're making it a three turn score instead of a four turn score. So I would have really liked to have seen that. Uh, that's what the perfect defense is being used for, right, when you set up like this. Attack. 
Because surely this is the guy. Like, you really want to get two on him, right? You don't just want to win 2 0. You really want to get two on him. Like, so much. No, I guess spoilers, it doesn't matter. It's, I mean, the match is done, Sparky. <laughs> Are you going to try and do a pass with him and then a touchdown? Wait, what? God! Oh! Oh no! I would have definitely taken advantage. Yeah, no, you can't because if, if anything, that looks more like collusion, right? The fact that you've like agreed to not do anything, you know? Um. Oh, really? You've been in trouble before for it? Wow! No, there's no way I would have let up for a second. I would have tried to get two touchdowns on that guy. 100%, 100%. That that was, I mean, that was very honourable of you, I guess. Be, but, um, you know, like, if it was a genuine game, people people are, are using that opportunity to score on their players, aren't they? So, like, oh, no, I I think that was a... Uh, that, like, made it more collusion-y, right? That was, like, do you know what I mean? That made it, <laughs> that made it look more collusion-y. Um... But, uh, <laughs> farming against the coach, Sparky Smurf 69. <laughs> oh, I would have ruthlessly, I would have ruthlessly tried to run it up. I would have, like, tried to chain my blocker forward and tried to, you know, get at least two on him, but maybe even more, right? Like, you've got to, you just have to in there. I mean, it's, it's too powerful. Like, you have to get guard on that guy. Like, if it was a genuine game, like, if he had carried on playing, you would have probably scored twice on him, right? You would have probably scored twice on that player if he hadn't given up. So there's no way I'm letting him... I'm, you know, you're letting everyone else in, off the hook by not taking advantage of that. So, uh, especially with money on the line. I mean, very, very, uh, very noble of you, but uh, I would have definitely scored twice on that, on that <laughs> chove blocker. Anyway, um, but this way at least nobody died, I guess. Um... So there you go, congratulations Sparky, commiserations RS Vordorka. Um thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.